The self-proclaimed unofficial ambassador for space, William Shatner, is all for discovering the world beyond planet Earth. In an interview with Inverse earlier this month, the Star Trek star marveled at the evolution of space travel, and also believed that utilizing space was the gateway to getting rid of the pollution on our planet. In this video, we talk about Shatner's thoughts on Blue Origin's flights to space, and also let you in on other Blue Origin news that you might have missed. Captain Kirk is in his element. William Shatner was mostly recognized for playing Captain Kirk in Star Trek, which was initially supposed to be a three-season show, but quickly spawned into a movie franchise and many other mediums of entertainment. But the commander of the USS Enterprise was rendered speechless when he went to space in real life back in October of 2021. He termed the experience extraordinary, and in a tweet that he programmed to post during his flight, he called himself a boy, amusing himself on a seashore, unaware of the great ocean of truth before him that remained unexplored. In a recent interview, the actor assured that he is of the belief that nobody knows anything and is not the typical wise old man. But what we knew for sure was the insignificance of Earth's size compared to everything in the universe. It is for this reason that the Earth must be protected, according to the Canadian. His flight was, in a way, a publicity stunt for the planet, which he called precious and deserving of all the honor that people could give. While you might be doubtful about whether Shatner's words have some truth to them, he really does seem sincere in his opinions. The recently aired documentary documentary, Shatner in Space, emphasizes his feelings and made people realize that it wasn't really about Blue Origin or William's attempt at becoming an even more popular celebrity. In fact, what was important was the fact that real change on Earth can only be brought if you broaden your perspective. Shatner ponders over space travel. Look at the evolution of space travel, said the actor. He further elaborated on his point by talking about how when Yuri Gagarin launched into space and completed one orbit around the Earth, he had commented, wow, it's blue. This first discovery was followed by the moon landing. The 90-year-old believed that in order to make space functional in a sense, all this had to happen. And if this continues, and they can get people setting up employable polluting industries in space, our planet could become less contaminated. The oldest person to have traveled to space by a margin of 13 years keeps close contact with his Star Trek fans, and shared a story of how a man who used to guide the milk goats to survive became a rocket engineer at Blue Origin. How did that happen? Well, it was because Star Trek inspired him to do so. Earlier in the year, the author expressed that he did not see eye to eye with Prince William, who believed that concentrating on fixing the planet must be the first priority instead of finding a different place to inhabit. He stated that the prince, although a lovely, gentle, and educated man, was failing to see the big picture. Shatner believed that the flights were just the beginning stage of trying to convince people that space travel was very much practical. The pop culture star constantly tries to keep his curiosity engaged, and even more so, after the most profound moment in his life, when, in The New Shepherd, he turned his head to the right and saw black space. Think what you want about him. But this Blue Origin flight did prove one thing. Risk and William Shatner go hand in hand. Now, let's talk about other Blue Origin news that you might have missed. Blue Origin among the top record holders of private launches in 2021. The past year was littered with many attempts to cross the Kármán line into space, attempts that were successful more often than not. The era of space tourism was jump-started, and quite a few private companies came out on the other side with new discoveries, as well as some fresh records. Among these was Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. The Amazon founder made a quick visit to space on July 20th, traveling with three other passengers, including his younger brother Mark Bezos. He made four Guinness World Records with this, which included that of Wally Funk, who became the oldest person to experience spaceflight at the age of 82 years old. Funk broke the record that was held for 23 years by Jeff Glenn Jr., but her record did not stay for long. Who broke it? It was none other than Star Trek Trek's very own Captain Kirk, William Shatner, who took over the position in October after the 90-year-old's flight to space launched by Blue Origin itself. Blue Origin teams up with the U.S. military for the rocket cargo program. Blue Origin signed an agreement to cooperate with the U.S. military in order to look into the probability of using its rockets to transport cargo and people around the world. This rocket cargo project will dive into the effectiveness, performance, and cost of taking cargo and people from one place to another on on commercial rockets. This cooperative research and development agreement, also known as a CRADA, was signed on the 17th of December, according to a spokesperson from the U.S. Transportation Command. U.S. Transcom is in charge of global military logistic operations and had signed similar agreements with SpaceX and with Exploration Architecture Corporation back in 2020. Blue Origin became the third company to ink a CRADA for the rocket cargo program. When companies sign CRADAs, they are essentially supposed to share information related 
relating to their products and capabilities, but the government is not bound to actually buy anything. To conduct research and rocket cargo demonstrations, the Air Force has made a budget of $47.9 million for the fiscal year 2022, which is trying to get covered. The objective of the project. The rocket cargo project will be using modeling of simulations in order to assess the military utility, performance, and cost of transporting freight on rockets, as well as looking into airdropping cargo payloads. D. Muborn, the deputy commander of U.S. Transcom, said that although every operation will not be carried out through space, it will help them speed up the process as well as provide a way to deal in areas that are inaccessible. In March of last year, SpaceX also signed a crater with the U.S. Transcom to help them look into SpaceX's commercial space transportation capabilities to quicken the global delivery of the defense supply chain. A month later, XARC inked a crater to give an idea on how to make use of commercial spaceports effectively. Blue Origin primarily uses the suborbital New Shepard as the vehicle for space tourism, with a heavy lift orbital launch vehicle called New Glenn currently under the works. Blue Origin launches and brings back first six passenger spaceflight. Blue Origin seems to be leading the spaceflight game, with a New Shepard rocket launching for the sixth time this year in early December. Something was different this time around, though, because it was the first time the company launched six passengers altogether. The New Shepard mission was called NS-19 and carried astronaut Alan Shepard's daughter, Laura Shepard Churchley, NFL star and television host Michael Strahan, along with four customers consisting of space industry executive Dylan Taylor, venture capitalist Lane Bess, and his son Cameron Bess, and investor Evan Dick. The rocket was blasted off from Blue Origin's West Texas private facility and traveled about 100 kilometers upwards, which is 340,000 plus feet altitude. It landed back into the Earth safely a few minutes later, the launch lasting for up to 11 minutes in total from start to finish. The crew had a total of about three minutes of weightlessness. After NS-19, Blue Origin was successfully able to launch 14 people to space in 2021. That's pretty impressive. Crypto pioneer Justin Sun to be traveling to space with Blue Origin in 2022. Space tourism continues to gain more and more attention, and Blue Origin is ever happy to host space tourists. It was disclosed that Justin Sun, the pioneer of cryptocurrency, will be going to space on the Bezos-owned company's flight in the upcoming year along with five other crew members. Sun, who had established blockchain platform Tron, revealed that he was also among the bidders in the auction that was hosted by the space company for its first crewed mission back in July. He actually ended up winning the auction by bidding $28 million for a seat on the flight but had to miss the launch due to some reasons. This did not dim his interest in space, though, and he was thrilled to have another opportunity for the venture, this time with five other warriors. Sun also hinted that among the five people that he will nominate following his announcement may likely include someone in the Tron DAO community, people who were holding cryptocurrencies for a long period of time, and other kingpins from industries like fashion, entrepreneurship, and technology. I believe that space belongs to everyone, he said. And that's all we have for you today. Do you think Shatner's comments bear any truth? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to hear more from us. We'll see you next time.